in 2003, I, I took time off from the diocese completely for three months. Best thing I ever did, actually. It was a spiritual experience. I didn't want to go and do a sabbatical course of any sort. I didn't do any sort of course. In fact, I spent a, a month in France with friends. I spent a month with my family because it was important to reconnect with family. I think we sometimes get so so busy in this sort of work that, that, that family take a second place and that's not necessarily a good thing to happen. And then the, four, the third month I spent entirely on my own in a house on the cliff tops of Cornwall between Padstow and Newquay and I did a lot of walking, a lot of reading, a lot of praying, a lot of thinking. And in the course of that thinking I was able to bring together something that had been running around in my mind for about five years previously to that, that we needed to have a pastoral plan for the diocese. And so I sketched out in the course of that time uh, an outline of what might be the beginnings of a pastoral plan for, so which, which would take us into the 21st century in a way. But whether I could have done it without going away for three months, probably not actually, probably not, that, but that may be me. But other people do other things. Some people go on sabbatical and they undertake a course of studies, which is almost academic. I didn't want to do that. I was too tired to do that and it wouldn't have been very helpful. Other people go on retreats. Some people go on 30-day retreats and that sort of thing. Somehow or other, I think that has to happen because otherwise we, we're just driven by events and we, we do nothing more than react until we can pull back and, and, and think and pray, we're never going to do more than react. And what God is asking of us, I think, is to be proactive in the proclamation of the gospel. We live in a world today which is full of activity and busyness, and that is very tiring and, and often quite unproductive in the long term. My advice to anybody who feels under that sort of pressure is to have the courage to put your trust in the judgment of others and particularly in the judgment of the Lord and entrust yourself to him. It may only be for a month, it might not be for, th for or a couple of weeks or something like that, but just, just let go and let God come into your life because he's there waiting to come. The prodigal father in the, in the parable of the prodigal son never stopped longing for the return of his son. He didn't care at hoot what the guy had been up to, what he hadn't been up to. He just longed to see him and to, to draw him into his embrace again. And that's, what, that's the way God is with us. God is a God of love and compassion and forgiveness and understanding and just wants us to be alongside him so that he can be alongside us.